Hi everyone, this is Charan. I'm from Tirupati, Andhra Pradesh. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna share with you all my experience with Brilliant Pala. So uh, I'm currently doing my MBBS second year here in SP Medical College in Tirupati, Andhra Pradesh. And uh, I joined Brilliant Pala for the medical repeater course in the month of September in the year 2017. First of all, let me tell you how I came to know about an institute called Brilliant Pala. So, there's a social media website called uh, Quora, on which I uh, what, searched a lot about the best institute in South, South India for medical entrance. And then I came to know about Brilliant Pala. So, back then I had a lot of queries regarding Brilliant. So, I asked uh, many questions regarding Brilliant and few of them who studied in Brilliant replied back with their answers and after I got to know about Brilliant then I called to Brilliant and I uh, got to know about it much more and then uh, I registered there and uh, first of all uh, I'm a partial Malayali but I'm not that proficient in Malayalam so I had a doubt that uh, can I cope up there in Kerala, it's a new atmosphere and I don't know how studies are there. So I thought how can I cope up there. So I thought to join in an English batch or a non-Kerala batch, non-Malayali batch. Uh, but later I thought that as Malayalis are super competitive, I should join uh, in that Malayali batch because uh, we can compete with them, so we can have an idea. So if I can compete with uh, Malayalis, then I, I thought I can easily compete with other students in my state. So with that thinking, I joined in L2 batch as I was uh, very late for joining. I was given, I was allotted a late batch, so I chose L2 batch which is a Malayali batch. But I was very happy for my decision though. So let me tell you about the faculty of Brilliant Pala. So the best thing about the faculty of Brilliant Pala is that they are very friendly. So you never get bored by listening to their classes and also uh, like a faculty will be allotted few chapters. So there will be many faculties many uh, lecturers for teaching uh, various chapters so you don't get bored by seeing just a single lecturer so i have experienced many institutes uh, in south india i did my plus one and plus two in andhra and i did my first year repeater course in bangalore and later i joined brilliant pala so i can tell you that Choosing Brilliant was my best decision because I, I can say this because I have experienced other uh, top institutes in uh, Andhra and Karnataka. There are many specialities to say about Brilliant but I am just uh, to make this video short I am just confining to a few. So yeah let me come to the topic. So regarding exams there will be weekly exams and monthly exams that will be conducted by the Brilliant. and. Uh, Brilliant modules will also be given and Brilliant modules contains all these uh, previous year questions which are very important. Previous year questions as you all know they are very important to know about the pattern and uh, type of question that will be asked in the exam. And the special thing about Brilliant is after the exam gets completed and when the results are out one of the directors they come to each and every classroom uh, that is each and every batch and they will distribute the cash prices to the toppers of that batch which is very rare i mean i didn't see that in other institutes where i have been to so that's one special thing to me and uh, for those uh, who are not feeling well there are even sick rooms provided with a uh, few beds and also a nurse will be there so all the medicines that are uh, you require will be present there at the in the sick room and uh, there is one more special thing to say that is uh, back uh, then where I studied answer key will be just pasted onto the wall and we have to go there and we have to go there along with our question paper and have to mark all the answers but here in brilliant along with your question paper after the exam gets completed you will be given a separate answer sheet individually so that's also a very uh, a different kind of experience for me because I never experienced such thing and I'm also fortunate to get allotted to uh, Angelo Hostel, which is uh, like, uh, and, uh, and that was very, uh, it was a new hostel which opened in the year I joined. 
so i was very lucky to get that and in angelo hostel there will be just two persons per room so there will be no much disturbance and uh, we had a library in our hostel and uh, it's a library come study hall so if you don't want to study in your uh, hostel library you can go to reference rooms in brilliant so these reference rooms are uh, also one of the best thing in brilliant so this will be near to library you can go there you can borrow the books there or you can borrow the books in the library and you can study there i think it gets closed by late evening i uh, don't remember uh, the correct time is because i used to study in room itself because just there are two persons there is no much disturbance and also my roommate was also very silent and i have to say that even my roommate back there in brilliant is now my classmate he also joined in the same medical college svmc and to tell about the canteen uh, for me it was a uh, little difficult to get uh, adjusted to the kerala food because though i'm a partial malayali i uh, i'm never used to eat uh, kerala food more only on sundays we used to in uh, my mother used to cook uh, kerala food here in andhra so i had trouble in getting adjusted to that but after a few days i got adjusted to the food there's no problem even if you have any issues with uh, food there you can go to uh, mutholi junction which is just a few meters from the main campus you will have all kinds of bakeries and hotels there and you can get all the food that you want and uh, what to say then yeah uh, most of the questions on uh, brilliant module will cover almost all the concepts as their previous questions and also questions that are prepared by brilliant so it covers most of the concepts so while writing or while giving my need uh, 2018 also i was surprised to see many of the questions uh, in the exam covered the concepts and covered the pattern from a uh, brilliant module so uh, i didn't uh, buy many books i just uh, had few uh, what guides and uh, i had this ncert texts and i had brilliant modules so which is more than sufficient uh, it covers almost everything then i also should say that uh, our class teacher uh, linu miss so in brilliant everyone or friendly even our class teacher linu miss she used it to motivate us whenever we get less confident or whenever we get demotivated because of our less marks or uh, less score that we get in those weekly tests so she comes to us and uh, she so there is something called a plus a b plus so when we score some um, b plus or something so she comes and she motivates us so i also i'm also very lucky to have such class teacher not only there even after 2 years i'm in mb i'm currently studying mbbs second year but now also i'm in touch with her so people there are very friendly you don't need you uh, what no need to have any fears regarding that so i'm saying all this because like me people from other states will have a lot of doubts regarding an institute because some some few few of them will be for the first time they'll be stepping out of their state and also regarding the weather regarding the food regarding the faculty everything they will be having doubts so that's why i'm clarifying a uh, few of them and uh, what to say so uh, i know that uh, all the aspirants of uh, 2020 for various medical entrance exams might have demotivated by now might have lost all their confidence but please utilize this time for revision and re-revision uh, or even if you didn't complete your syllabus just try to complete it just utilize this time and uh, stay safe and stay healthy health is very important so don't neglect sleep sleep for 7 to 8 hours even before exam also sleep for at least 6 or 7 hours don't sacrifice your sleep then in the on the exam day you just sleep on the table so don't make that mistake and yeah i wish brilliant all the success in the future years and uh, thank you